decades uh, in this mesmerizing sport. Um, we are halfway through one of the most exciting weeks I've certainly ever had at Sky. Six months and a week on, the sporting world is set for part two of Frotch and Groves. Everyone in boxing loves a rematch. It took 82 and a half days for these two super, super middleweights and the man to my right to thrash out the deal that we all wanted. Another 18 days and our national stadium was sealed. Three months of training, media appearances, our wide range of programming on Sky Sports, Sky Sports News, the radio, the website, a quite massive buzz all around the media. This compelling story, which now enters the final hurdle. The final press conference. So many what ifs in this fascinating fight. The worldly experience of a great, tough, and pure fighter in Karl Froch, and the youthful speed, confidence, calm, and agility of George Groves. Enjoy these next 58 hours. Breathe in every second of this, and a thank you from me to these two warriors for a professional build-up and giving all of us boxing fans the fight we all want to see. The fight promoter, Eddie Hearn. Thank you, Adam, and uh, welcome again to Wembley Stadium. Not long, we're nearly there. A build-up, the anticipation. For what, when we started this journey, we called the biggest fight in British boxing history. I think he's got even bigger than that. This is a night that will be remembered in sporting history in this country. 80,000 people ascending on the National Stadium for one hell of a fight, one hell of a night. I'm so proud to be involved in this event. I want to thank Barney Francis, Adam Smith from Sky Sports for backing myself and Matchroom to make this happen. Our American partners, HBO, our sponsors, Betway, Rockstar, Lonsdale. And I want to thank these two fighters for making it happen. Too many fights slip by the wayside. Too many fights that the public and broadcasters want and demand just don't happen. And now we've got it. The big one. I want to pass over to Team Groves. And firstly, the challenger, the former British and Commonwealth world title challenger, George Groves. Thanks, Carl. And Rob? Yeah, uh, it's 
going to be a great fight, as you all know. It's Carl Frotch involved, and every fight he's involved in is a great fight. Um, he's, he's produced for the last six years back to back world title fights all across the world. He's come on everybody, and um, his career has been remarkable, no doubt about it. But um, after the last fight, we kind of had a chat. We said, Look, Where are we? Where are we at? Um, where's your motivation? Um, how good is Groves? Was he very good? Or was you very poor? And he said, well, let's find out about it on the 31st. So we've gone into camp, we've worked hard, he's done all the work. I've sort of stood beside him, trying to encourage him and direct him. And uh, he's looked great, and he's looked exactly where I, I hoped he'd look, which is motivated and still in the league level fighter. His sparring's been great, his training's been great, and um, he'll definitely be here on the 31st, like he always does. Thank you, and uh, over to Fraser Danes from Sky Sports News. Carl, aside from those two world title belts you've got in front of you there, how much more is on the line for you in this fight? I think every fight in every professional boxer's career is equally as important. But this one, you know, because of the stage of my career, because of these two world titles, and the fact that it's um, an immediate return with George Groves, it's, it's got that air about it, the air of importance. And um, with it being at the national stadium, it's obviously, it's big. So this is by far the biggest part of my unbelievable career. It's fantastic. It's, that's going to give me, it's given me the motivation. It's given me the apprehension I need to perform my best. George, everything for a reason. Do you believe it's fate or destiny or call it what you will that you're going to win on a stage as big as this? Potentially, yes, because it's on such a big stage, you know, such a massive platform for boxing, uh, to perform in front of 
this audience you know, on the back of the career I've had, then definitely this is, is a massive opportunity for me to really drive home what I'm about. And George, do you feel this is the fight where you believe all the questions will be answered? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, there's been plenty of questions since the last fight. Um, there was questions before the first fight about my ability, and they, I think there always will be. Maybe that's what makes me slightly endearing or a bit curious or a bit weird. But um, I'll, uh, you'll, 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 you'll see as a complete performance as, as possible um, on Saturday night. I think uh, certainly a lot of people will sit up and take note. And, uh, I plan to arrive as I say, I'm going to arrive. I'm just giving credit across the world as a legitimate world champion, uh, someone to be feared and, uh, and someone to be chased. Because, uh, I'm going to bring the world titles back to London. Uh, I want to be a world ambassador for British boxing uh, on the world stage. And uh, for me, it will start Saturday night. Carl, are you prepared to do everything, everything that it takes to make sure that doesn't happen? I think you know all of that phrase, a lot of you know, hardcore boxing fans know what I'm about. And when I turn up in the shape that I'm in now, you know, you've seen it time and time again against top level opposition. I've proved that I can perform at top level, I can mix it with the elite boxers of the world. And, um, Gary Shaw here today, he brought Andre to run over, and um, yeah, it was a close fight, but that was an unbelievable opponent that came over full of confidence, you know, and I dispatched him. And I've dispatched many before him and since him at top level. So, you know, I'm, I'm bringing that confidence and that experience it with me to this fight on top of being in absolutely unbelievable shape, which is going to allow me to perform at my best for, for the whole duration of the fight if necessary. But I'm convinced this fight won't go the distance. Just goes right near the final belt because I know what I need to do and I know how to do it. Gentlemen, for the moment, thank you very much. Right a little bit. And all the way round, thank you. Start to the front again, please, mate. That's it. Go <laughs> Security guys, come back. Security guys. Security guys. Come on, if you want a decent photo, step back. Step back. <laughs>